Today I'm going to show you how to create snapshots for very specific dynamic change. The TouchMix 30 Pro allows me total granularity to make very specific snapshot modifications. I often run sound for a band that frequently switches back and forth from a Sinatra jazz genre to a pop rock genre. This requires me to turn off my noise gates on drums for the jazz style and turn them on when they transition to the pop rock style. Rather than turning the gates off and on channel by channel, I will create two snapshots to do this. During sound check, I make sure that the gates are on and where they should be for the pop songs. Now I will create a snapshot for Gates On. Select Scene, Snapshots, and then New for Save As. First, I will give the snapshot a title. Gates On. You may give it a description if you'd like. By default, all filters and parameters will be highlighted to be included in the snapshot. But since I'm going to make a small and specific dynamic change, I will choose Select None on the input channels and filters, and then choose only the changes I want to be affected. I will turn off any other filters that I don't want to affect, and then select Save. The new snapshot, Gates On, shows up in my snapshot window. Now I need to create a new snapshot with the gates off for the jazz music. I will go into my mix and turn off the gates. Then I will select Scene, Snapshots, then New, Save As. You'll notice that my filters from the previous Gates On snapshot are still highlighted, but I have changed my mix by turning off the gates. All I have to do now is give the snapshot a new title and description. Then choose Save. The new snapshot Gates Off shows up in my Snapshots window. Now in order to make these snapshots engage instantaneously during the show, I will assign them to user buttons. It's a good idea to label your user buttons in a case like this. Press Menu, User Buttons. I will make User Button 5 be my Gates On button. In the Action menu, choose Recall Snapshot Q. In the Selection window, select User. In the Detail window, select Gates On, then Assign. Then I will go through the same process to assign User Button 6 as my Gates Off button. As I toggle between User Buttons 5 and 6, you can see my drum gates turn off and on. This allows me to only push one User Button when the music all of a sudden changes genre.